welcome to the pharma topics friends uh, today in pre formulation study i'm going to cover the topic named anization constant uh, anization constant mainly includes the pk and uh, pk is having direct impact on the solubility and also along with the uh, lipophilicity and it's an anisability uh, it is termed as a ph partition profile uh, ph partition hypothesis which is the basic uh, theory which uh, governs the soluble uh, absorption based on the solubility of the compound and uh, it gives idea regarding that uh, drug molecule will pass biological membrane to available systemically or not so here first of all what is pk it is the point ph point at which drugs ionized and unionized form in equilibrium means uh, I want to say that 50 percentage ionized and 50 percentage unionized. I don't that that pH is termed as the pK of the. So here, for first of all, what are the nature of drug candidates uh, that are generally found in the pharmaceuticals? That uh, this uh, mainly pK concern is with the ionizable groups uh, that are present in the drug molecule. So here, what is the nature that uh, acidic molecules, uh, basic molecules? Amplifies or neutral molecules. So generally, seventy-five percent of pharmaceutical drugs are basic in nature. Twenty percent are of acidic nature, and uh, only five percent are amphiphilic or neutral in nature. So here you can see that ninety-five uh, percent of drugs they are having the ionizable groups. So pK is of main concern in this kind of drugs, and uh, basically the basic equation. For the pK is the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. Henderson Hasselbalch equation says that pH is equal to pK plus log salt upon acid for acid. And for base it's reverse. Okay. So first of all, what is the pH solubility studies? Uh, if uh, unknown compound is given to me. And I have to find out that uh, which type of which type of compound is it, and uh, based on this observation, that the uh, number of pKs of compound and uh, what will be the solubility modification criteria for such compounds. So if I first of all I will go for the solubility checking solubility of that compound in uh, acidic solvent and basic solvent. Suppose uh, my compound uh, shown increased solubility in acidic com acidic solvent. And no solubility change in basic solvent. So I can conclude that uh, my compound is of basic nature. And if uh, vice versa occurs, that uh, no change in solubility in acidic solvent and basic solvent shows increase in solubility. So my compound may be acidic in nature. So if the compound doesn't show any type of change in both solvents, compound may be the neutral one. And if uh, in both case acidic and basic increase in solubility is seen and solubility is seen then compound may be amplified so here is this brief idea that which kind of compound is it and uh, upon that uh, what will be the solubility modification criteria so for acidic and basic compound as well as the amplified generally the salt formation is the main the first criteria that we can use for solubility modification while for neutral compound one can go for the cos this is all about uh, ph solubility profiling next will be the ph pk and more precisely ph pk and the solubility or ionization so here the change in ph or uh, what will be the change in the pk of the compound uh, that the uh, if uh, I go for the change in pH. Uh, it is well known that uh, pH plus two, sorry, pK plus two, pK plus one, at on pK, pK minus one, and pK a minus two. For uh, acidic molecule. And for basic molecule, 
I don't pick a drug is 50 percent is ionized for both of them. So percentage ionization, I don't pick a will be the 50 50 percentage for acidic as well as basic drug. But in case of acidic drug, as the pK increases from pK pK plus one, whatever the pK value pK plus one pH value, ah uh, it will go to 90 percentage. It will go to 99 percentage. And the same thing will happen here. At pK minus one. So apparently, generally the solubility study is carried out at pK plus two for acidic, and pK a, sorry pK minus two for acidic, and pK plus two for basic compounds. So here, this is all about pH solubility and ionization. Now the pK and absorption from the gastrointestinal tract. So here uh, we all know that. Uh, Uh, in case of stomach, then uh, intestine, uh, mainly small intestine, so in three parts: uh, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum, and then colon. So here uh, pH value is 1.5. Duodenum about uh, 5 to 5.5. Uh, for convenience, I will take in 5.5. Then it's six. 6.8 and it will be continuous 6.8 to 7. So here, if my compound is acidic in nature, acidic nature with pK value of 4, then what will happen here? I don't pK value of 4. As I told you, pK minus 1, pK minus 2, pK minus 3. For acidic compounds, it will be For minus one, it will be only around ten uh, percent ionized. Here one percent ionized, and here point one percent ionized. And for basic compounds, it will be ninety percent, ninety nine percent, and ninety nine point nine percent ionized. So here, the at on pH four, sorry pK four, if compound is on pK four, it will show. Ionization, 50 percentage. But for sake of convenience, I am converting these values: 2.0, 6.0, 6.0 and 7, and 7.0. Okay. So here the way the calculation will be easy. So is the pK value is 4. So in case of stomach, pK minus 2, it will be 1 percentage ionized. And uh, from stomach to going to duodenum, it will be then. 6.0 means uh, 4 plus 2. It will be the 99 percent is ionized. Here also 99 percent, and here it will be around in between 99 to 99.9 percent is ionized. So for I can say that for acidic drugs, the absorption you all know that absorption only take place of unionized one. So absorption take place in between stomach and duodenum, and majorly from stomach. And for basic drugs. With pK value of around seven, uh, pK value of seven. So what will happen? It will be hundred percent, about two hundred percent ionized. Here I don't pH six. It is around ninety percent ionized. Ninety percent ionized. I don't pH seven. Fifty percent ionized. So on the basis of this, certain values for Acidic and basic compounds are assigned. That you can take this as a universal truth that for acidic compound, pK greater than three is good for their absorption. While for basic compound, pK value around seven point eight is good for their absorption. This is the maximum value. This one is the minimum value. So this is a universal thing that for good absorption, this should be there. So here, uh, this is all about the pK profiling, and uh, the last point remaining here in case of pK profiling is that the how to measure the pK. There are certain techniques. Uh, I'm going to just enlist these techniques here. That is UV. Potentiometry. 
सॉल्यूबिलिटी सॉल्यूबिलिटी काइनेटिक पीएच प्रोफाइल दिस इज द सेम थिंग आई डोंट डिफरेंट पीएच व्हाट विल बी द सॉल्यूबिलिटी सॉल्यूबिलिटी आई डोंट डिफरेंट पीएच इज द काइनेटिक पीएच प्रोफाइलिंग एंड पल्लास इट इज अ इन सिलिको टूल for measurement of pk so you should remember this techniques it is a uh, somewhat important that how to determine pk of pk so this is all about pk and uh, for more videos and more updates uh, please subscribe for my topics thank you